from the reading will be answered by today's guest speaker. We will then have activity time where we will explore, explore ways to apply what we have learned today. We will conclude our meeting with a closing song and prayer. I pray that once again you may be blessed. Well, please can you pray for us? Yes. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the Sabbath. Thank you for our families as we start the week of prayer. May we learn to live for you always. Keep us safe and healthy. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. gives us love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law saying these things are wrong. Oh, Mama, there is so many children around our house who don't know about Jesus, sighed Eleanor. Can we do something for them? 
Jesus loves the children around the world, Ellen asked with excitement. What a marvellous idea, said Mama. What do you want to do? Guess what? I have received my talking backpack. I will, I will form a small group and share the good news with them. I can teach them songs about Jesus and tell them Bible stories, Ellen said excitedly. Let's get started right away. I will invite my friends to come to the house every Friday evening, Elna said. Elna invited one special friend, and her friend invited another friend, and on and on. The first 12 children came at Elna's house. She told them the Bible, she told them Bible stories and gave them each a pen saying, Jesus loves you. She helped her mother bake cookies for the children. What a joy and encouragement it was for Elna. Wow, Mama, there's so many children coming every week. I've lost count of the numbers, but I'm, but they are sure to love the, the Bible and accept Jesus as a special friend. After one year of running her small group, several of her friends were baptized and accepted Jesus. Great joy filled Elna's heart. In today's world of violence, fear and terrorism, can one still have peace in their hearts? Which Bible text shows how one can have peace? Is it possible to love your enemy or someone you hurt you? Why? Why not? Good evening, boys and girls. It's a pleasure, it's a privilege for me to do this reading for you on your week of prayer emphasis with our children. And let me express my thanks to Sister Lynn for giving me the opportunity. And what a, a pleasant surprise that we're having something for the children. It is really, really good. And I want to uh, applaud all of you who have taken the time to do this. And so Monday's reading, our memory text comes to us from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22. And it says, but the Spirit gives love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. There is no law that says these things are wrong. Not at all. And the story goes like this. Oh, mama, there are so many children around our house who don't know about Jesus. Sigh, Eleanor. Can I do something for them? Jesus loved all the children of the world. Eleanor asks with excitement. That's a marvelous idea, said mama. What do you want to do? Guess what? I have just received my talking backpack. I can form a small group and share the good news with them. I can teach them songs about Jesus and I will tell them Bible story, Elena said excitedly. Let's get started right away. I'll invite my friends to come to my house every Friday evening, Elena said. So Elena invited one special friend and her friend invited other friends and on and on and on. Now the first night, there were 12 children that came to Elena's house and she told them Bible stories and gave each one a pin that said, Jesus loves you. She helped her mother bake cookies for the children. What a joy and encouragement it was for Eleanor. Wow, Mama, there are so many children coming every week. I've lost count of the number, but they sh sure love the Bible stories about Jesus. I'm going to pray that they will accept Jesus as their special friend Someday, exclaimed Elena jubilantly. 
And so after one year of running her small group, several of her friends accepted Jesus and were baptized. And great joy filled Elena's heart. What a beautiful story. What about you children? The same thing that Elena has done, you can also do it. L invite a friend. And I know we are in the lockdown, we are in the pandemic, but after all of this, you can invite your friend. You can, you, you can bring them around. You have family friends you can invite. Let mommy and daddy, along with yourself, study with them. Open your homes and show love the love of Jesus Christ. But then there are two questions that Uncle Richard would like to answer for you tonight. And the first question is, in today's world of violence, fear and terrorism, can one still have peace in their heart? What do you think? But there's a Bible text that I want to leave with you. It says in John chapter 14 and verse 27, Jesus speaking to his disciples says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Children, irrespective of what is going on in the world, irrespective of the pandemic, irrespective of the earthquakes, irrespective of the terrorism, Jesus says, my peace I leave with you, not as the world give. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Jesus is able to give you the peace, that peace that passes all understanding. And he's able to give you that peace in your heart. In, in Colossians also, chapter 3 and verse 15, it says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. No war. Jesus wants us to have peace. And then there is also another question, final question, which says, is it possible to love your enemy? What do you think, boys and girls? Or someone who hurts you, is it possible to love them? Why or why not? Do you think it is possible to love those who hurt you, those who don't love you. Now, Jesus says, you have heard it said, love your neighbors in Matthew chapter 5 and hate your enemies. But I say to you that you must love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you and pray for them that spitefully use you that you may be the children of your father who is in heaven. Now let's, let, let us look on it, boys and girls. I know sometimes you have those little fights and, 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 and people, you know, sometimes don't like you. But Jesus says, don't worry about people not liking you. Don't worry, boys and girls, when people look on you in a certain way and you know that they perhaps don't like you. No, 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 no. Don't worry about them. What Jesus asks you to do is to love them. Don't worry if whether they love you, you must love them. And, and, and if we want to go to heaven, if we want to see Jesus when he comes, then we have got to love those who hurt us, even those who, who, who don't love us, we have got to love them. There is no why not. We've got to love them. Why? 
because Jesus loves us. You know the song, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones, to him belong, I am weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So irrespective of those who hate you, you ought to love them. May God bless you. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this year children. Bless them, guide them, and keep them. In Jesus' name, amen. And now it's time to think of ways to apply into our lives what we have learned from the story of Eleanor. How about you discuss with your parents or Sabbath school teachers one or two projects you can do to show love and kindness for those who are less fortunate. For example, last week I reluct reluctantly helped my mother to sort out the toy cabinet and set aside the toys we have outgrown. It wasn't fun, but just yesterday, God gave us the chance to share those toys with a Palestinian family. Hopefully, this would lead to friendship, and in time, we can share about Jesus with them. Another thing you can do is to pray for the children whose parents are in prison. Find out the names of a few of the families and write cards to encourage them. That will be all for the activity section for today. Thank you. Jesus, thank you for the successful program. Thank you for being with the participants. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us today on our Children's Week of Prayer. I hope you have been blessed. And don't forget to join us again tomorrow.